Once a scan has been completed on your site, Termly will produce a scan report, which lists all the cookies and other tracking mechanisms that were discovered when it crawled through the pages across your website and its subdomains. Termly does a lot of the heavy lifting to try and automatically categorize and describe what each one of these cookies are based on a database that we maintain of the most commonly found and known cookies. It's important that you go through this report and review everything that's listed in here to ensure that they've been accurately described and categorized into the right buckets according to the way that you run your website. Termly will automatically categorize your cookies into five main buckets, essential, performance and functionality, analytics and customization, advertising, and social networking. The main thing to remember here is the distinction between essential and non-essential cookies. Essential cookies are those that are absolutely fundamental to the running of your site and often include things like security and content delivery. Everything else are considered non-essential uh, and can include things like chat widgets, videos, analytics tools, advertising services, and so on. It's important that you also take a look at anything that's listed as unclassified as these are things that Termly was not able to automatically provide a description and a classification for, and so it's important that you do it yourself. To do that, simply click on the cookie that's listed in the table. As you can see, we have a bit of information about this cookie already, such as its name, the type of cookie it is, and so on. But what's probably most useful is the page that it was discovered on and the actual URL that was used to serve this cookie. So what we're most interested in doing here is setting the category, the privacy policy, and the purpose for this cookie so that we can provide this information to your end users. In this case, it looks like it's an advertising cookie, so I'm gonna categorize it as advertising. I can see that my ad service is setting this cookie, and so I'm gonna go and find their privacy policy and enter it here. And lastly, I need to find what the purpose is for this cookie. The best thing to do is to check with the service themselves. You can reach out to them or often on their own, um, privacy policy or cookie policy, they will have this information listed. Or if all else fails, you can always Google for the name and the service and often you might find something on another website. In this case, I figured out that this ad is used to track the users when they click on an ad. And with that, we provided enough information for our customers to be able to understand what this cookie does and who it's served by. We can also add the service and save. Now we have no unclassified cookies and we can generate our cookie policy. As you can see here, we have a policy that's ready to be embedded on our site and shared with our users so that we give full transparency about how we're tracking them across our site. On top of that, we now have a banner that will include all of this information as well so that we also educate our customers when they first land on our site and give them the choice about which category of cookies they agree or do not agree to receiving.